this is fairly simple, guys. Check the relay, just a extension cord, dollar store plug. Um, check the relay code, which is right here, if you want exactly the same one. Search that in the Google, on Amazon, they all kind of similar. So just follow the instructions. Um, see how it's wired here. Uh, so I have the cable jumper. This is actually a switch. So you can have external switch. So I just jump that so it always turns on automatically. If you don't jump it, it will not turn on. So this is how it's wired. We just have a power coming into here. And then you have a neutral coming into here. And that's the main power from the fridge. I'll show you how it actually connects. So your fridge will go into this plug here. This will plug in to your thermometer. And that's it. So what happens? Um, very important. What you have to set is this top. The top is from 100 seconds, from 0 seconds to 100 seconds from zero to a thousand seconds or minutes. So I did a seconds on a thousand. So now you have to play with it, adjust it a little bit. And what I did, I adjusted it to three minutes on the top. So when the fridge, when the plug, the fridge calls for cooling, relay will start, kick in, the relay will kick in, start the power, and it'll run for three minutes powering this plug which is your fridge. This is your fridge plug. I'll show you later how I plug it in. And it will run for three minutes because you don't want it too long. It'll drain too much humidity out of your fridge and the temperature over the next few minutes will still drop down. So I have to install this. Um, and very, very important, set up this correctly. Let's say on a hot summer day or something goes wrong, if you do not set this relay correctly, the stop timer, after three minutes, the timer will go for three minutes. After three minutes, it stops and cuts the power to the plug. So whatever you set this timer, if you don't set it properly, it just goes to red light and it will not reset again. So it will kill your fridge, the temperature may never reach, the relay may never reset, and you have a big problem. So sometimes you have to set to three or four minutes in the summer and hot day and make sure you set the second relay, the stop timer, for about six, eight minutes, maybe up to 10 minutes max. Because in a hot summer day, if those three minutes isn't enough and you're away somewhere and you don't know what's going on, this will stop and this will never have a chance to reset. If you set it for an hour or two hours, then good luck to reach that temperature back again because the longer you set it, the temperature will keep rising and rising and rising. So I set the top for three, bottom for six. Honestly, three minutes was always enough and it gives enough time in those six minutes to continue that temperature, let the fridge balance. And for my fridge was perfect time was enough time and it'll shut the relay next time it'll call for cooling it'll reset again for three minutes itself but yes set these correctly this is how it's wired you can pause the video take a look and yeah very simple very easy nothing fancy this is just a ground wire comes right into that plug and this is the main power this is 120 really so just search on Amazon, check on Amazon, Google. They have a bunch of different brands and so forth. So, Okay, so let me show you quickly how I connected in the fridge too. Maybe it'll make more sense later. So this is very, very simple. Your Ingbert thermometer has constant power all the time. This cable right here plugs in the wall plug, which I can show you. So this has always power. This is completely dead as you see, because my temperature has reached below my set temperature. So this is all completely dead. This plugs into, obviously, into cooling. 
when this thermometer sends a signal, the power will go through the cord, power up the relay, and from the relay, that's my fridge plug. It'll power up my fridge, my fridge will turn on, run for three minutes, switch off for six minutes, and then maybe it will kill the temperature completely. If that's not enough, turns back on again for three minutes, off for six minutes. So the only thing you have to do, guys, is play with this timer. I know it's not electronical, it's only with the dial. So I was having a little bit of trouble adjusting it, took me a little bit. But once you set it, you should be good to go. So yeah, there you go. If you have questions, let me know in the comments, ask me and yeah, pause the video, see how the connections are done and just search. You can even see the code of the relay here. Just search for this relay. Amazon, Google, they have similar things, um, different brands and so forth. So this is just a regular 120 volt timer relay. That's all it is. So yep, pause the video, look for, um, look for connections, do your own wiring, and it will definitely help your fridge if it's cooling for too long. I used to have it for 10, 12 minutes, and it was cooling so long, it will drop way below, even now, on my regular fridge, it turns off at 12.7, but look how much more it drops because everything just cools down inside the fridge. So I used to have to drop to 11 even further. So the more it's cooling, the longer it's cooling, the more humidity it attracts. So it takes more humidity from my fridge. So I don't want that. I don't want to take as much humidity. So that's why I had to install the really in my mini bar fridge. Now it's good, just a cup, not even a degree, half a degree is gone. So, so far is perfect. I'm happy. My, de my humidifier almost never turns on. I always run around 82 because I have huge circulation, 83, 84. So I always get fresh air. And yeah, this is, this is how it's set up and it works great. So there you go. If you guys want to build one of these, super easy, 10 bucks on Amazon. Get yourself a cord from dollar store, a plug dollar store, and this will help you tremendously. So yeah, if you have questions, let me know. Shoot me a message in comments, and I'll try to help and answer. Have a great one.